folks are talking about that. They're not talking about their own campaigns, their own plans, their policies. Um, and speaking of pledges, the RNC has one they want everybody to sign if they're going to be on the debate stage. Former Governor Asa Hutchinson um, is not happy about this. He is running, and essentially the pledge says you got to support whomever the eventual nominee is. He says, I'm not going to vote for him, meaning President Trump, if he's a convicted felon. He says, if he's convicted of espionage, I'm not going to vote for him. Um, do you think everybody, Mark, will sign on to the pledge? Shan, I think most people on that platform stage are actually lifelong Republicans. I think the one exception, actually, is Donald Trump. And he's the one who said, I'm not willing to sign the pledge yet. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of question about who, where everyone else is going to do. But there hasn't been as much focus as to what Donald Trump's going to do as it comes to that pledge. And, you know, I, I think to, to Mario's point, I think that about everybody coming to his defense, I think you saw that in the Manhattan case. Cause mm -hmm. I think everybody thought that was more political. I don't sense that's the case in this particular one. And, I mean, Vivek's pledge, Vivek, I don't think he's ever seen a classified document in his life. So it's kind of understandable. He doesn't understand the gravity of human intelligence and what comes involved in the disclosure of some of these accusations of what Donald Trump was doing with these documents. And when it comes to pardons, you know, candidly, one of the most unseemly parts of the end of our administration was the pardons that Donald Trump gave to cocaine traffickers, to family members, to people guilty of violent crimes. And so I think we have to have a real conversation. What would people actually do with the power of a pardon? There's a couple people on that stage that have been governors that understand it. But I think that if you look actually at even Donald Trump's record when it came to pardons, it was indefensible of people getting $750,000 to lobbyists to try to gain a pardon. It's, it's a meritorious question for all of us of how you'd handle the pardon and the power of it. Yeah. And regardless of which party the president is from, they always get a ton of heat for these pardons that they do at the end of their uh, terms. So Trump's going to make Clinton family blush. <laughs> okay, I'll leave it there. All right, on this idea of um, the pledge and who's going to have to sign on to it, RNC senior advisor Richard Walters tells us, candidates who are complaining about this to the press should seriously reconsider their priorities.